I was just following so many fitness people, not that that's bad, but I was following so many other coaches that were posting about similar topics as me. And that's what I'm talking about when it comes to consuming is I would have an idea for a post. And I'd be like, I'm going to make a post on this. And I would open Instagram and scroll and see a post on it. And I'll be like, well, I don't need to post. Like that person already got it covered. But, and this was something that someone on staff brought up when we've really pushed them to post more of, well, like, why wouldn't I just share a post that already covers this? That's a great, great point. And I share a lot of posts on my story, but you have to think of at the end of the day, does every single person see your story? If they see your story, are they going to go to that person's page and actually read that post and be interested to enough to go to that person's page? Even if you say you should read this, you're also looking at did anyone see their post and being able to be pulled at like all these different metrics where at the end of the day, this is a constant machine that's going and and you just need to get in front of people's faces. There's tons of things that I've either repurposed content I've already posted, posted the same like concept or like the same infographic and refreshed it or you utilize things and people see it and they're like, this is so great. And I'm like, well, I posted that a year ago, but none of you saw it. So it's great that I'm posting it now. And not every piece of information has to be brand new information. It has to be presented in a way that's going to be helpful for someone. And if you keep that at the core of it, then you'll also have a lot more fulfillment than it being something that you're just kind of throwing out there. And if someone didn't see it that way, because no one even knows how the algorithm works at the end of the day, then you're in this place of just feeling so down when it wasn't that nobody liked your post, no one saw your post. Right. And I think that one thing that we express to each other as well as express to our coaches is that people need to be reminded more often than not rather than shown something brand new. Like it is going to be very beneficial to be reminded of things that they're already been told. And and oftentimes that's what we need to hear. And so that's been a big uh, shift for us because I think that prior to all this, we were in a position of like, this has to be groundbreaking information for it to be posted. Like it has to be brand new, no one has to see it, has seen it before, that kind of thing. And it's like, you're going to have a post like that once every three months, maybe, like at most. And that would be pretty consistent of like an earth shattering thing. And of that, um, like losing that thought process and understanding that people truly just need to be reminded more often, opened up the horizon of just being able to convey a message and share. And oftentimes it's just saying something a particular way that clicks for someone. They could could hear it 10 times. And on that 10th time, it's just perfectly worded for their mind. And it just, everything clicks. Yeah. And when was the last time that you heard something for the first time and then it was immediately cataloged into your brain to never forget it? Probably not. That's not how a lot of people's brains work. It's definitely not how mine works. I need to reread and study things for it to actually hit and be in my head. And so if you are saying like, oh, people have probably heard this before. Again, maybe they just need to hear it in a different way. Maybe they need to hear it one more time. And maybe they need to hear it from you at a different point in their life. There's been books that I've read where when I read it, I was like, "Uh, not applicable next. And then I read it a few years Years later, and I'm like, oh, this is the best book ever. And it's just because the timing of how it happened, not that the information wasn't helpful. I just wasn't ready for it at that point, or it wasn't as applicable at that point. Yeah. And I think our exercise execution videos are a great representation of this, where a lot of the exercises that we are teaching are exercises that you guys have seen hundreds of times, but it could be just a way that either myself, Sue, or Austin are breaking it down for you. We say one thing differently that is like, oh, that is what's been going wrong with my my squat form or my deadlift or whatever it is. 